Let's talk about right now. Let's talk about Tyree uh, Nichols. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw the footage over the weekend. I, I don't generally recommend it. It's it's brutal. It's it's it really is horrific, um, and it's unexplainable in a sense of 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 the irrationality and the brutality of the police here, uh, and and just the way uh, the way uh, they treat this guy, um, and it's it it it. it you know, the way they treat Tyree, and, and it's inexplainable why they stopped him. This is, uh, these guys, the five policemen, are all part of a kind of a, a special police unit, Scorpion, that's been dismantled since, but it's a Scorpion that, uh, that was uh, put together to reduce violent crime in, um, in the city, and uh, it, 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 it was focused on that. It, it wasn't doing traffic stops, so why were they stopping this guy? For, for unsafe driving or something like that? Why were there two police cars, unmarked cars, doing the stopping? Why was he put to the ground on a traffic stop? Uh, he didn't have a weapon. He didn't go for a knife. He didn't go for a gun. Uh, it, it, it's just unthinkable what, what happened here. What happened here? And, and there are questions about race. There are lots of questions about race that this brings up that I don't think one can ignore. One if you were a white driver, would this have happened, played out exactly the same way? The fact that the cops are black makes no difference. Second, if, they, if the cops were white, would there be uh, people all over the media defending them right now? I don't, I don't see anybody defending them right now. Anybody. Even the generally poor police people don't seem to be defending them. If there were white cops, would they be defending them? Would they at the very least be going out there and saying, well, we don't know the facts, maybe this, maybe that? Everybody's pretty uniform. So is this race-free in America? There is no race-free today in America, um, uh, particularly not when it comes to uh, cops. So I'm not saying any of this is related to, to... I'm not saying what they did to him is related to race. I don't know. But we don't know. And, and there's very much, you can't, you can't ignore the possibility that it is. Um, the way that five policemen can't really subdue one guy, not particularly strong, not particularly, uh, you know, and, and why is he on the ground? What has he done? And why are they all yelling at him? I mean, I saw one analysis where they said that in the span of 13 minutes, they 70, 71 commands from different people. This goes against all the training these guys had. You're supposed to have one guy in charge giving the commands. Why is everybody yelling at him different things? He, he, he complies with them. They keep yelling at him. He complies. He's saying, I'm doing everything you're telling me to do. And he still gets beaten up. And, and it's not just beaten up. In order to subdue this guy, they taser him. They pepper spray him. They kick him in the, in the, in the head at least twice. They kick him and beat him everywhere else. I mean, the beating was such that it killed him. I mean, this is completely and utterly messed up. He did comply at every step. They tell him to do something, he does it at every step. They say, get on the ground. He, he, he gets on the ground. They keep yelling at him, get him with the ground. Finally, he figures out they want him to lie on the ground. So he lies on the ground. They, they, they keep yelling at him, so he turns over on his stomach. They keep yelling at him and beating him. It doesn't matter. His compliance was not an issue. You watch this video. He's complying. But if you're getting beaten up for no reason, are you going to just lay there and do nothing? Well, Shay's fighting with him. Why would he get out of the car on a traffic stop? He's arguing with him. Yes, don't argue with police. That gives you an excuse to beat him up? These are thugs with uniforms. And not only that, again, I go back to what I was arguing. I've been arguing since George Floyd. And I've been arguing. They're untrained thugs. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to subdue somebody without killing them. There's absolutely no reason to use deadly force here, as there's been no reason to use deadly force in so many of these police beating cases. They should be trained and be able to subdue a guy one-on-one -on -one quickly, effectively, without killing him. It, 
it is absolutely ridiculous that these guys would do what they did. I don't care if, 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 if you're giving them, if, if you're, you're speaking back to them uh, because they're asking you to do something unreasonable. Put handcuffs on him, take him to police, and 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 say that he, that, you know, that he that he didn't follow orders. Why is that difficult? Why does that require beating him? Why does that require putting him on the ground? Why does that require kicking him in the face? Why does that require pepper spray and tasers? All of all of them, not just one of them, all of them, all of the above. Would you just comply? with being kicked in the face? Why aren't we training these people? Why aren't we training these people to subdue? Why aren't we training these people in... in I, I mean, they, they, God. I don't know who we're recruiting to be policemen. I don't know why... I guess part of the problem is you give them special designation in a Scorpion squad and suddenly they feel like they're above the law and they're supermen. So, you know, truly horrific. And then how stupid are these cops? I mean, talk about stupid. These, these cops are... You know, they've got body cams. Do they think they can get away with it? Is that the issue with the, is that the issue here? Is that in spite of the fact that they know they've got body cams, in spite of the fact that they know that their behavior is going to be reported, they continue doing it? And then I don't know if you saw from the video, it takes the medical staff minutes to treat Tyree. They're just hanging out. They're not rushing him. I mean, who knows if his life could have been saved if he'd been treated immediately. But there's a nonchalance. There's a disregard for human life, a disregard for an individual's life. This guy is not some murderer on the loose. This guy has not shot anybody and is escaping the police. This guy, according to the police, was stopped for a traffic violation. A traffic violation. How many of you have not been stopped for a traffic violation? How many times were you asked to step out of the car at a traffic violation? It's an utter, complete disregard for individual human life, for, individual, for, for the individual person, and an arrogance an arrogance and a stupidity that is just unthinkable and should, qu should cause us to really question who we're accepting as police and then what kind of training are they getting. I've said this before. They should be trained to subdue quickly, effectively. There should be almost no circumstances where a policeman has to beat up somebody. There should be almost no, there should be very few circumstances where you have to shoot somebody and only shoot somebody if somebody's pointing a gun at you. But you should be trained in ways to subdue a suspect in any other circumstances without risking life to yourself or to other people. But we kind of hire policemen and we don't really train them and we give them a gun and once in a while they go shooting and maybe we give them these uh, seminars on how to be a nice cop and, and, and what to do and what not to do and we probably don't test them on a regular basis and we certainly don't require them to be in physical shape. You can see that across the board on cops. I, I mean, I see cops all the time and it, it's stunning to me how they can be in that shape. They couldn't, couldn't survive in the military that way. And police is about force. And therefore, they should be world experts in wielding force. They should be the best in their community at wielding force effectively while minimizing damage. Anyway, it's just a horror story. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's I think, for, for most reasonable people, this is now, it's scary. Because, again, this is just a traffic stop. And 
you, you know, I, I'm the kind of person who, if the cop is asking me to do something completely unreasonable, I'm likely to tell him, to argue with him, to debate him while complying, but to give him a little lip. Because I don't like injustice and I don't like stupidity. So I need to be careful, I guess, is the answer. It's just, I mean, the video is just horrific. Uh, so don't watch it. Um, or watch it if, 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 if you feel the need to, if you need to see a, a, a concrete, a real visual of it. You can, you can just read the accounts uh, on how horrific it really is, was. Uh, all right, I mean, we'll keep watching this. Uh, we'll keep watching this and uh, monitoring it and uh, seeing what happens. As I said, I, I definitely do think, uh, I'm, I'm glad they're being prosecuted for second degree murder. Uh, I think it's definitely, definitely second degree murder. Uh, it, you know, from what we've seen, we'll see what the court says, what the trial shows. Um, and uh, I do think, I, I do think um, race is an issue here. I don't think you can ignore the fact that he is black. Um, and I don't think you can ignore the fact that nobody is coming to the policeman's defense, but if they were white, would they be? I think there would be people coming to their defense. Anyway, um, my sense of, of this, but as we say, still a lot of holes in it, still a lot of stuff we don't exactly know. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what comes out in the trial, of course. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.